hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled pierce morgan presses ben shapiro on daily wire firing candice owens you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what pierce morgan has for us in this video one of the consequences of this war has been a lot of very high passions on both sides a lot of angry disagreements you and your company have been at the center of a very uh, high profile one at the moment with Candace Owens, who's now left Daily Wire. Um, was she fired or did she leave of her own volition? So it continues. <laughs> This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. You'll see the discount right here for the shirt. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Uh, let's talk about this Candace Owens Daily Wire thing. Because I think it has... I, I, I think it, it's going to go away. Can I say that? Of course it It's will. going to go away yeah. at some point. But for right now, there's still controversy because Daily Wire has not, in my opinion, mm -hmm. and I Made love them. Statement. I like a lot of things that Ben says. I disagree with him on certain things. I like everybody on Daily Wire except Matt Walsh. I don't really like Matt Walsh that much. Me and him got into it over Uvalde. I thought he was an absolute nut when it came to Uvalde. And mm -hmm. I messaged him in the inbox. And he still act like a little girl. So that's why I don't really like him that much. Um, but however, Candace is my friend and Candace loves him. Anyway, we don't have to like each other. But at the end of the day, I think Daily Wire is, has not really given a clear enough explanation, an articulable explanation of why they let Candace go. So therefore, people are, 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 are pressed to speculate. And when there is speculation, I think people get the raw end of the deal. I said this in one of my other videos. It's like when your parents get divorced. At some point, mama and them got to tell you why they got divorced. Why daddy ain't coming home no more. Hey, where my daddy at? Mama can't just be like, oh, no, nah, son. We'll, you know, yeah. some vague. That, did my daddy say something? What happened? It's the same thing with Candace. If you've been subscribing to Daily Wire, which I have, I think I deserve to know because I subscribed to Daily Wire because of Candace Owens. And she's no longer there. Should I unsubscribe? Are you guys going to give me a good explanation of why you let her go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we the rumors are out there, but we don't really know. So anyway, Ben Shapiro goes on to uh, Pierce Morgan's show, which Pierce Morgan is becoming one of my favorite people because I feel like he's actually got some common sense. I thought he was a leftist at first, but now I seem like he he's more you know with it than most conservative people on television. But anyway, he talks to Ben Shapiro, and and I want you to hear what what was said. Wrote a clip. One of the consequences of this war has been a lot of very high passions on both sides a lot of angry disagreements you and your company have been at the center of a very uh high profile one at the moment with candace owens who's now left daily wire um was she fired or did she leave of her own volition i'm not going to speak to this topic pierce can you imagine at, at all now now let me wow. let me see, say something real quick I don't know why Ben Shapiro is not going to speak to the topic. I, I understand if there's a legal reason, then just say legally, I cannot speak to the th Because I know that he had to talk to Jeremy Boring about, hey, you're getting ready to fire and there's going to be a social media firestorm if you let Candace Owens go. They had to have had a conversation about this. Of course, they, sh they should. Ben Shapiro co-founded this entire conglomerate organization. I'm sure Jeremy just don't make a decision and Ben is like, all oh, right, I didn't see it coming. I'm guaranteed they have to have a conversation about mm -hmm. this. Of course they will. So why would Ben not want to talk about it? Mm. To me, if I fire somebody, and, and I know I'm in a slightly different position, right? But if I fire somebody, man, I, I know why I fired you and I had a good reason. And I will say, for the benefit of the other party, I'm not. I don't want to speak on this. Hmm. I don't want to ruin, damage their reputation. Uh, we signed a document that we won't talk about it. Something just just come out and say something. With I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, this subject is is crazy to me. 
in my opinion. At all. You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. Can, can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not. You can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again, you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> is this a game or something? I, I don't know. Like, Ben Shapiro is very smart. I think his social skills are not as grand as others. So maybe he's not trying to be jerkish and come across that way, but it kind of is coming across that yeah, way. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he's just being firm and trying to make a mm -hmm. declarative statement so he didn't get caught up in a lawsuit, but it's just coming across kind of weird. Very weird. It, I, I think these answers could be easy to, to answer and say, hey, you know, look, I don't, you know, Pierce, you know how these things work. I don't want to get into this. There's a legal mm -hmm. situation that could be afoot, and, you know, I don't want to say nothing to get me in trouble. I you guys, I totally agree with what Officer Tatum said here. Ben Shapiro is actually acting like a jerk, the way he's answering Pierce Morgan, because there's a softer tone he would have used to answer this question, but he chose to be a jerk. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. I hate the fact that they have to cancel Candice Owens. And ever since Candice Owens cancellation, I don't know how I view the Daily Wire and Except for Brett Cooper, whom I love so, so much. Let me know what you guys think about this video and let's continue watching you guys. We'll talk about this when it's appropriate at some juncture or whatever. And can I ask you why? Well, you know, I can't talk. I can't talk about it because of legal reasons or something. Because it just seemed like what happens is the firing of Candace is so confusing and then Ben don't want to talk about it. People don't know that Ben can't fire Candace. They think he can. So when they see him do this and they think he can fire Candace, mm. then now it's weird, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean only, I'm only curious because I know what a, a staunch defender of free speech you are. And it would surprise me if it had been someone's opinions that would make you want to part company with them. However, I mean, suffice it to say, the only thing I will say is what I've said all along with regard to Candace. Uh oh, he's finna talk now. You made him mad now. Candace, or with regard to any of our other hosts, I am not in hiring and firing position with the Daily Wire. I'm a co founder of the Daily Wire. I'm a co owner of the Daily Wire. I'm not actually in management. Jeremy Boring and Caleb Robinson are in management positions with regard to Candace or anyone else. And as far as the free speech situation, what I will say is that no company has the obligation to literally pay anyone. The, the Daily Wire is a, is a publisher, it is not a platform. I've never called for Candace or anyone else, for that matter, to be banned from YouTube, to be banned from X, to be banned from any platform. That's a different story, obviously, when it comes to any publisher. Any publisher gets to make decisions about what it wishes to, uh, what it wishes to purvey and not. Y'all see that? This is out of all that he said. He just revealed what their defense was mm -hmm. for letting Candace go <laughs> legally. Not too smart. After they are all. not obligated to allow you to express your First Amendment right to say what you want to say. So it's clearly that something that she said, mm -hmm. they did not want to purvey on the Daily Wire. So they got rid of her because of something she said. That's exactly what it is. I mean, he, he pretty yeah. much revealed it. And Ben Shapiro is probably one of the smartest people in mm -hmm. America. I think he was a lawyer or something like that. So he know what he's he know. They, they know the legal jargon. They know how legally to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he's expressing there is that he's saying they're using the argument that we are not like a social platform and no company has the obligation to keep a person on that says things that goes against what they believe. I mean, it's, I'm just not mm. going to labor this, but one more point I would make is it's been reported extensively that the reason for her departure was because uh, her comments have been perceived by people at the Daily Wire as anti-Semitic. Again, I'm I'm not going to comment on this, Pierce. Okay. So, well, you always saw. two things. I always like to be very balanced and impartial. Wow. I've been on interviews. Sometimes when you go on shows, not Pierce Morgan, because I was on Pierce Morgan, and, and, and there was no talking points or anything. But when you go on Fox News... They want talking points from you. They want to know what you're saying. Now, a lot of times I found out that they create their shows based on your talking points. 
that's what that's what people told me is because I was like, why do you need my talking points? Like you're the one talking, you invited me on. You should be asking me questions. Maybe I need to know what you want to ask me. Instead, they pitch it. I heard that they pitch it to a bunch of people, and whoever returned the best talking points is the one that they go with because it's good for for the show. Now I don't know if that's true or not. Somebody told me that I don't know mm. firsthand. But on a big show like that, you 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 have to provide your talking points. And they give you topics that they may talk about and you provide talking points to those topics. So you may tell a person, I can't talk about this. And then they get you on the show and then they talk about it anyway. And then they put you in a weird position where you're like, bro, we just talk about this. I can't talk about this. I told you off air that I can't talk about this. And you're asking me anyway in a roundabout way. And that could be why Ben comes across a little snarky with it, because maybe they had this conversation before the legal team. Maybe I already reached out or he mm-hmm. gave them a disclaimer or something. But at the end of the day, I think it's still ambiguous what the real deal is, because if you are going to make such a prominent decision, to fire somebody as big and notable as Candace Owens, I think there should be a preparation for yeah. a press conference or something to let the people know that subscribe to your channel. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the alternative. Some companies believe that if you don't say nothing, it'll go away. Some companies believe that. Maybe it's true. Mm. If you don't do a press conference, most people are not even, a lot of people still don't even know Candace left Daily Wire. And you definitely probably don't want your, your people to know she left Daily Wire because then they'll unsubscribe. So if you just don't say nothing, let the people say stuff. Candace hadn't said anything, has she? I haven't seen a video from Candace. Now, I talked to Candace, but Candace hadn't said anything publicly. And so if nobody says anything, people are going to forget. Some terrorist attack happened or something like that. People forget. And then they own to something else, just like with Steven Crowder. It was insane what happened with Steven Crowder in the Daily Wire, which I think Steven Crowder was 100% wrong. Nobody even know what happened. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. Comment in the comment section. I'm out. You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? I think the Daily Wire crew are purposely taking their time to deliberate on the kind of statement they want to put out there and also goes for Candice Owen. She needs all the time off. I mean, this lady just gave birth some few months ago and she almost immediately came back to work. This is the time that she has to bond with her newborn. And anytime Candice Owen comes back, we're here rooting for her. We're here waiting for her to give up sight of the story of what happened with Daily Wire. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. I feel that in due time, both parties will come and give their sight of the story. And I really enjoyed every bit of this video from the officer Tatum. He said nothing but the truth. And I guess he knew what really happened because Candice must have told him. But because he's a ride or die of Candice Owen, he's not going to say anything until Candice Owen does her part. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.